So we're out here today in Sarasota County and uh, we found a couple candidates for our program, Backpacks for the Homeless. And uh, we found a nice couple that uh, are down on their luck a little bit and struggling. And uh, we just kind of like to get their story. We did bring a couple packs for them today and uh, help them out. And um, we just want to talk a little bit about how you got here and, and how you ended up in this situation that you're in. You know, we know there's a lot of homeless. We've been helping out for weeks down here, and we just keep finding more and more and more. So we know it's a pretty good problem out here. Yeah. And uh, so, how did I get here? Yeah. Um, well, I got a country song for you, and it's all real. My husband cheated on me. I left him. I took the RV. My dog died. He took the RV back. Now I'm stuck in Sarasota. We, we all true story. Um, I lived. We got married. He's from Sarasota, and, but we got married. I'm from Ohio, uh, uh, born and raised, and uh, Dayton, Ohio. What part? Okay. Dayton. Well, actually, I'm from Springfield. My, my Springfield? nieces live in Dayton. Okay. Well, I'm actually from Tip City. Oh, okay. If you know, I know exactly where Tip City. Okay, I would never say Tip City yeah. because no one would know where that's right. at. It's a small town, yeah. but um, so we started to travel. We got an RV. You know, we said we're gonna go travel and stuff like that. And um, he ended up cheating on me and uh, leaving me. So I took off and I went to the Salvation Army. Do you have any skills? Uh, well, I'm on disability, but I have an associate's degree in veterinary medicine, which I came and worked at a vet's office, and I'm paying back two years. So right now because I made too much money oh. so I can only work part-time yeah. you see what I'm saying without yeah. them uh, messing with my benefits so I just got like a part-time job at Wendy's to try to supplement my income Wow! because you can't live in Sarasota on Social Security yeah. like I don't like I'll be honest I had um, I thought homeless people were like drug addicts I'll, you know I'm just being honest you know that right. uh, stuff like that and now to find myself in this situation, right. the worst thing I'll do is drink. Right. You know what I mean? I don't do drugs. I don't. It's you know. mostly just people down on their luck. Yeah, there, yeah. There are some, situations. There certainly are some with some uh, addiction problems. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I mean, that's, yeah. that is an epidemic out there. But you know, either way, you're still struggling. Whether you right, have an addiction right. or you don't have an addiction, you're just down on your luck. So. Our sponsors basically help us provide some necessary tools for you out here. Okay. We know it's tough living in the elements. Most of us all live in homes and have air conditioning and don't have to worry about the rain and the weather and the cold. Yeah. And, and so we provide, uh, okay. we got some nutritional mylar things, blanket. got mylar blankets, uh, you know, we have to toiletries. We have toiletries okay. in here. Okay. Look, we have some snacks in here for you also. Email things. Um, Great. Oh. Refillable water bottles. Oh, okay. You know, so you can be a little eco on it, and you know what I mean, and I have to yeah. buy the styrofoam and all. Um, some fresh water in here. There's also uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, cement, brushing comb. Great. There's some little things that you're gonna need. Shampoos, conditioners, talcum powders. You know, these are things that will help you out here. You know, you'll yeah. feel a little bit fresher and cleaner. You know, I know it's tough out here. What's your name? My name's Jake. Jake. So, same, same type of story? Yeah, I did three years in prison. Yeah? Came home, walked in after getting off the Greyhound bus. Leap day 2012. Found my mom dead in the bed. Ever since then, I was like, you know,
I used to buy these all the time oh, when I had yeah. my house. 